From the reign of the south of England to the reign of Cheshire and the fabulous, majestic setting of Bolsworth Castle for top international show jumping with some of Britain's and the world's best competing. An arena with a gentle slope down to a fabulous hospitality and a weekend that was enjoyed by all until the uh, final day. Just to take us round the course is international rider Chris Smith. Running downhill as well, the horses are always on the forehand, the momentum's always travelling so you need to keep your weight back a lot more than you would do, you have to sit up down the hills and keep your body back going down the hills. Good jump over the triple bar and just, oh, peaked a bit on landing, it was a shame. Jeff recovered well though, jumped the plank. When that happens, you need to get your body back, get all your body weight back to try and get the horse off its forehand and sit it back up so you can get organised. Luckily, Jeff had a little bit of time around the corner to regain everything. If there had been a fence afterwards a lot sooner, you'd have been in trouble. But the first thing is to do is get your body back and get back organised. Okay. So this is a real blood horse with plenty of scope. Like, we should see that how it uses its scope around this course, especially coming out of the doubles, especially the double of boxers. But also she's very careful, so running down the hill as well, we'll see how she copes with it. She comes round the corner to fence three. Jeff will have a nice stride, a little bit off, giving her a little bit of space, allowing her to jump the front rail. Jumps the triple bar well, then has to sit her back down to jump the vertical, again giving her space and a great shot. You see how the small horse then had to use all the scope to jump out over the wide oxer. Then a carefulness afterwards to jump the tall vertical. Again here you shall have to use all the scope to jump out of this double. <clears throat> She's naturally a quick mare anyway, this mare, so time allowed never really comes into play and Jeff being so, such a quick rider. She has to get such a big jump into the double, then Jeff can just sit down and jump out. Again, a good jump over the plank. And jumps the last well, a very good clear. Well, it takes Jeff through to the jump off and some top combination as well, competing for some big prize money, just short of £20,000 in the pot. And in that second round, well, Edward Doyle led off for Ireland, Sam Jem G jumping clear in 45.88. Dave Quigley for Ireland, Valletta JX finished on eight. Jeff Luckett then in the second round with uh, the old lodges are Little Lefaney. This is a chance for this light horse really to take up the pace. The conditions, well, they're getting tougher and tougher out there. The ground standing up pretty well considering what's been thrown at it. They've done a tremendous job here at Bolsworth Castle. The organising team producing one of the biggest national shows of the season. And this is certainly one of the biggest prize pots of the season as well. Back up the arena to the next over this big spread fence. Fences in this class, we're looking at round about the 1 metre 50 height, 160 spreads or more. And it's a big change from the uh, starting out levels of 70 centimetres up to this one. As we saw a little earlier on. Back to this upright and over that to finish. 43.04. So Jeff Luckett takes the lead with our little Lefaney once again. So good when it comes to speed and a man with a clock in his head. And many spectators still braving the weather to see the Britain and the world's very best riders competing. John Whitaker and uh, Keely Durham's Argento. Well, they've been on fine international form in the last few weeks. And this would be one of the favourites for this class. Such a smooth jumping horse. Very rarely touches a pole. Won a very good class at the Suffolk Show as well. Before heading up here to Bolsworth Castle. Very smoothly up there, takes that one on the angle. It's back round to the Bolsworth Castle fence and then a turn back to the last. This looks as though it'll be quicker. Jeff Luckett's time, 43.04 over the last. Certainly got them. John Whitaker, 39.86 with Argento, takes the lead in the Bolsworth Classic Grand Prix. Catch me if you can. As the rain continues to come down and challenge our competitors, we go to one of uh, Britain's very best next and winner of the King George V Gold Cup last season. Has been on international duty 
for Great Britain out in St. Gallen, as we heard, out in Switzerland. This is another combination that can cover the ground. And sure to pay a big part for Great Britain over the next 12 months. Let's see John and Tim as part of championship squads. We wait and see. This is close on John's time. Turn back here. It's going to be the turn to the line. Ah, oh, it's gone. And that puts pay to Tim Stockdale's challenge. Comes to the last. And he is quicker on the clock. 37.65. But that one fence down makes a big difference. Drops Tim Stockdale down into fourth with fresh direct Calico Bay. You can see his face. Not too happy with that one. That's how close it comes. 6,000 to the winner. That's not going Tim's way. Louise Whitaker had the last, I'm afraid, with Dazzle the second to finish in fifth on 39.92. So it's uh, her father, John Whitaker, that tops the table with Argento. Wins it on 39.86, the winner of the Bolsworth Show Jumping Classic Grand Prix.